Their word shall enter into their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord uphold it the righteous. The Lord know the days of upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be the fat of the lamb. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. The wicked bar it and pay it not again, but the righteous show it mercy and give it. For such as bless of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord uphold him with his hands. I have been young, and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beginning to bread. Is ever mercy merciful, and landeth, and his own seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, for Satan at his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hands, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, they shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and be only upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them, because they have trust in him. Plea my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against those that fight against me. Take hold of Sheila and Butler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my heart. Let them be as a chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause they have hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have dig for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliver the poor from him that is too strong for him. Yea, poor and the needy from him that spoilt him. False witness they rise up. They laid to my charge things I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good, to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humble my soul with fasting, and prayer returning to my own bosom. I behave myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I praise God heavenly, as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity, they rejoice and gather themselves together. Yea, the objects gather themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and not cease. With hypocritical mockers in feast, they gash upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long will thou look on? Rescue my soul from destruction, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. 
let not them be our mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that ate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they open their mouth wide against me and said, Ha!